The secret covenant and illusion it will be, so large, so vast, it will escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected, to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time so as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience, for we know the secrets of the Absolute. We will work together always and will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so they will never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators, and sedatives in food and water, also in the air. They will be blanketed by poisons everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find a cure from our many fronts, yet we will feed them more poison. The poisons will be absorbed through their skin and mouths, they will destroy their minds and reproductive systems. From all this, their children will be born dead, and we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them, in what they drink, eat, breathe, and wear. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poisons, for they can see far. We will teach them that the poisons are good, with fun images and musical tones. Those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. They will see our products used in film and will grow accustomed to them and will never know their true effects. When they give birth we will inject poisons into the blood of their children and convince them it's for their help. We will start early on, when their minds are young, we will target their children with what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill their mind and steal their future. When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them sicker and create other diseases, for which we will create yet more medicine. We will render them docile and weak before us with our power. They will grow more depressed, slow and obese, and when they come to us for help, we will give them more poison. We will focus their attention on money and material goods so they may never connect with their inner self. We will distract them with fornication, external pleasures, and games, so they may never be one with the oneness of it all. Air minds will belong to us and they will do what we say. If they refuse, we shall find ways to implement mind-altering technology into their lives. We will use fear as our weapon. We will establish their governments and establish opposites within. We will own both sides. We will always hide our objective, but carry out our plan. They will perform the labor for us and we shall prosper from their toil. Our families must never mix with theirs. Our blood must be pure, always, for it is the way. We will make them kill each other when it suits us. We will keep them separated from the oneness by dogma and religion. We will control all aspects of their lives and tell them what to think and how. We will guide them kindly and gently, letting them think they are guiding themselves. We will foment animosity among them, through our factions. When a light shall shine among them, we shall extinguish it by ridicule, or death, whichever suits us best. We will make them rip each other's hearts apart and kill their own children. We will accomplish this by using hate as our ally, anger as our friend. The hate will blind them totally, and never will they see that from their conflict, we emerge as their rulers. They will be busy killing each other. They will bathe in their own blood and kill their neighbors for as long as we see fit. We will benefit greatly from this, for they will not see us, for they cannot see us. We will continue to prosper from their wars and from their deaths. We shall repeat this over and over, until our ultimate goal is accomplished. We will continue to make them live in fear and anger through images and sounds. We will use all the tools we have to accomplish this. The tools will be provided by their labor. We will make them hate themselves and their neighbors. We will always hide the divine truth from them, that we are all one. This they must never know. They must never know that a man's color is an illusion, they must always think they are not equal. Drop by drop, drop by drop, we shall advance our goal. We will take over their land, resources, and wealth, to exercise total control over them. We will deceive them into accepting laws that will steal the little freedom they will have. 
we will establish a money system that will imprison them forever, keeping them and their children in debt. When they shall band together, we shall accuse them of crimes and present a different story to the world, for we shall own all the media. We will use our media to control the flow of information and their sentiment in our favor. When they shall rise up against us, we shall crush them like insects, for they are less than that. They will be helpless to do anything, for they will have no weapons. We will recruit some of them to help us carry out our plans. We will promise them eternal live, but eternal life they will never have, for they are no of us. The recruits will be called initiates, and will be indoctrinated to believe false rites of passage to higher realms. Members of these groups will think they are one with us, never knowing the truth. They must never learn this truth, for they will turn against us. For their work they will be rewarded with earthly things and great titles, but never will they become immortal and join us, never will they receive the light and travel to the stars. They will never reach the higher realms, for the killing of their own kind will prevent passage to that realm of enlightenment. This they will never know. The truth will be hidden in their face, so close they will be unable to focus upon it until it is too late. Oh yes, so grand will the illusion of freedom be, that they will never know they are our slaves. When all is in place, the reality we have created for them will be their prison. They will live in self-delusion. When our goal is accomplished, a new era of domination will begin. Their minds will be bound by their beliefs, the beliefs that we have established from time immemorial. But if they ever find out they are our equals, we shall perish then. This they must never know. A. If they ever find out that together they can vanquish us, they will take action. They must never, ever find out what we have done, for if they do, we shall have no place to run, for it will be easy to see who we are once the veil has fallen. Our actions shall have revealed who we are and they will hunt us down and no person shall give us shelter. This is the secret covenant by which we shall live the rest of our present and future lives, for this reality shall transcend many generations and lifespans. This covenant is sealed by blood, our blood. We are the ones who from heaven to earth came. This covenant must never, ever be known to exist. It must never, ever be written or spoken of for if it is, the consciousness it will spawn will release the fury of the prime creator upon us and we shall be cast into the depths from whence we came and remain there until the end of infinity itself. Author, Unknown. Adherence, a secret covenant, no. It's not a coincidence. Literally, everything marketed by publicly traded corporations is full of poison, none of which will kill you tomorrow, but all of which, combined, result in negative outcomes for your health, your life expectancy, and your state of mind. Check out our packet in our email in the description. Our goal is to assist and support you and your loved ones in any way we can. For more than three decades, we've been collecting valuable resources that can help you overcome any obstacles you may encounter. We're excited to provide you with access to the most up-to-date technology and research that have successfully helped numerous individuals in the past. We're confident that they can do the same for you. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or concerns. We highly recommend reviewing our information packet, which contains cutting-edge and proven knowledge. We believe that access to this information is important for everyone, and we encourage you to share it with your friends and family.